We're, we're here at a ranch in, in Alto Bonito uh, that has uh, these beautiful animals that we call mules. Here's one. Is that a mule or a donkey? Well, it's, uh, um, a mule is, is a cross, is a hybrid, it's a cross between, uh, between a, a, a male donkey, which is called a jack, and a female horse, which is a mare. That would be a, 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 a mule. A, a um, hinny, H-I-N-N-Y, is a cross between a female uh, donkey, called a jenny, and a male uh, horse, which is a stallion. And they produce, that produces a hinny. Uh, these are very, very resilient animals, and they're beautiful. They're almost horse, like a horse, but they have some features of a horse and some features of the donkey. That's the, their parent. Uh, um, this beautiful animal that we're looking at here um, has been in existence for over 1,300 years before Christ. Uh, there's record in art, in, in the history, and in, in uh, the drawings that, they, that they, all the people had before Christ. They're depicted there, these uh, mules and these uh, donkeys are, are depicted there. Um, you, something that we found out as we were doing research for this is that George Washington, our first president of the United States, he served as president from 1789 to 1797, eight years. He is also considered the father of the American mule. Now why? Because he, in Mount Vernon, which is where he lived, he, had, he was able to produce 57 mules. Now he was ahead of his time because he knew that uh, the, 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 the mule was very, uh, uh, it was easy to, to maintain, that it was, uh, they're, they're very calm and they're cheap to maintain, like I said. But they feed on almost anything, uh, unlike horses that have special needs, not these animals. Huh? Uh, again, they're cheaper, they're calmer, and, and uh, in, in the 1800s, it was mostly for farms, farm use, farm carrying of equipment and things like that. Uh, but as, as countries were developing and, and uh, getting into wars, then, then these uh, uh, animals were used to carry he heavy equipment. And they were very good, especially in terrain that is not very good, like the war in Afghanistan when the Russians were fighting and when the Americans were fighting. Those areas are very mountainous areas and, and they're very difficult to, to travel through. But mules made it very easy. They could carry heavy loads. And, and that's why they were used for the 1800s. Uh, then in, in the United States, yeah, by 1800s, they, they were used heavily in the farms but, uh, and, and to carry equipment, to do planting and so on. In the 1900s, what happens is that now we started relying on trucks and tractors. And so that was the end of the uh, mules as uh, used for, particularly for farms. Now they're still used in many, many places, uh, especially where the terrain is rough. Uh, and, and like for instance, uh, the biggest market for, for mules is found in China, in Mexico, and in Central and South America. Those, there are mountainous areas and they, 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 they require the, the animals like this, who are, which are very, very resistant. Now, the, 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 it so happens that the, the mule uh, is very patient. It carries heavy, heavier loads than horses. It's very resistant to rain and to sun and there are uh, they're very resistant to insects and to diseases, so it, it, that's why uh, they, they, they are preferred over horses for certain kinds of things. And so that's the, the mule. That's what we have here. We came to visit to see uh, how they're used here. This is in Alto Bonito, La Grulla area. Again, uh, this area is not mountainous. It has some hills and so on, but the, the owner of this farm keeps them here, th this ranch keeps them here and uses them for different uh, uh, kinds of uh, uses here in the, in the, in the ranch. The, there's a, we have uh, one of the uses is this wagon, which is very similar to what the Amish people, Amish pe people use. Huh? You can see it over here. The Amish people, uh, you know, they they have this uh, thing that they believe that they should travel with animals, uh, by animals, pulled by animals, and so they have a, a wagon like this. Uh, I think they call them wagons, I'm not sure, but this is one similar to what, what the Amish people use. 
Again, we want to thank Mr. Javier Solis. He's the owner of this uh, uh, ranch. And here are the animals that he has, uh, the mules. Uh, he has a donkey as well. Now we have to be uh, ever so thankful because if you recall, donkeys go back way, way back into the history. In fact, at the time of Jesus Christ, according to the Holy Scriptures, he rode triumphantly into Jerusalem on a donkey when people were just uh, uh, hailing him because he was coming as a, as a hero entering Jerusalem. It was a donkey that carried him. And so uh, they have, the donkeys have their place in history of, of having carried, ushered in the, lo the Lord into Jerusalem.